Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different and then I'm gonna be covering a heavy duty shelving unit for my garage because as I film more and more of my electric scooter and e-bike videos, I'm finding that I'm getting crowded out of my own garage because I've got stuff literally all around the perimeter. I've got these scooters, bikes, electric unicycles, and you know, my daughter's stuff and just a bunch of other things that are collecting around the perimeter of the garage, which means I don't have enough room to do what I need to do. So a storage solutions company, Raby, actually reached out to me and asked me if I'd be willing to test out one of their heavy duty shelving units in my garage. And I said, absolutely, because I'll tell you what, right now things are starting to warm up here in Arizona. And as things warm up, all the little critters, scorpions, all that stuff come out. And the last thing you want is clutter in your garage and you know providing places for those things to hide. And it's gonna give me a heck of a lot more room once I take care of all of this stuff. So without further delay, I'm gonna get that box opened up and we're gonna start building this shelving unit and we'll see how it does and we'll compare it to the ones that I have right now, which I'll be honest with you, haven't done so well over the last several years. All right, so here's the box and all I can say is this thing is super heavy. So let's go ahead and pop this open, see what's inside. So in the box, we've got all of our pieces packaged in here. We've got the shelves underneath the cardboard there. And then of course, these are the legs that are standing up here. So uh, I'll get all this pulled out and we'll start assembling this. All right, so this is what the shelf looks like out of the box. Uh, and they also include things like a rubber mallet, uh, some gloves so you don't cut yourself on sharp edges. They give you an instruction manual and of course, all the hardware necessary to build this heavy duty shelving unit. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take these vertical bars. There's four short and four long bars and we're gonna actually put these uh, plastic feet on the bottoms of the long bars and the tops of the short bars. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, getting these in is pretty straightforward. You simply align them, push them in. And if you're having an issue getting them in, you can use the rubber mallet and lightly tap it in and you're good to go. Now the next thing we're gonna be doing, and I'll show you up close so you can see, uh, but you've got a bigger hole here at the top and it narrows as you go down. And of course you've got these tabs on here. And what you'll wanna do is insert this into the bigger hole and then you can tap this down. It'll friction fit its way in. So you're gonna to wanna to attach uh, the short end as well as the long end to the uh, longer of the vertical bars for the shelving unit. All right, so as you can see, we've got the base uh, fully assembled. Uh, so we've got the four of the taller vertical bars attached to the long and short crossbars to form the base. And now we're gonna work our way up on constructing the rest of the shelf. All right, so as you can see here, we've got the first few levels built without the shelving units. Uh, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna extend the height uh, of the unit uh, so that we can put in uh, more levels and we're gonna do that using this joiner piece on each of the four posts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and continue building this up. All right, so now we've got most of this assembled here. Um, all of the crossbars are in place. The vertical bars are in place. One thing I do want to mention is that uh, where these two vertical pieces meet to heighten the shelf, you want to make sure that you get your crossbar uh, in between that line, which will help with stability. It goes over that in the instructions, but I want to call it out uh, because as you are building this up and spacing your shelves, you want to factor in that this piece is gonna have to be here. Now the final step of assembling this before putting the shelves in is to install the crossbars and these literally hook right in. So you'll see that there's cutouts here on the uh, long crossbars and you just drop it in. You're good to go. All right, so we've got this shelf in its fully assembled form. Now it's just a matter of figuring out where I'm gonna put it. Now, originally I was gonna put it in this corner. Unfortunately, I think with the garage door and that angle over there in the corner, I don't think it's gonna quite fit with the door opening up and down. So instead, I'm gonna use uh, this back corner here uh, for the new unit. So I need to go ahead and clear some things out, get things organized, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so this is where I settled on putting the shelving unit right here in the corner. Uh, I am kind of limited where I can put it right now. I've got these old shelving units. I'll figure out uh, what I'm gonna do with those in the future, uh, but I can't really put it here. There's just not enough space there. Um, I can't move it over anymore to the right because I do want the water heater to be serviceable. Um, here I've got bikes hanging from the ceiling, water softener stuff, and then of course we've got a window there. We don't want to cover that. We've got another window there. don't want to cover that. And this center area 
you know, needs to be as clear as possible so that we can uh, open the car door when we park in the garage. So this is where I settled. Uh, what I'm going to do now is um, get this uh, shelving unit mounted to the wall using these um, this mounting kit that it comes with so that it's not a tipping hazard once under load. So I'm going to go ahead and find the studs, bolt this in, and uh, we'll start loading stuff on here. So this is where we're at so far with reorganizing everything on this shelf. And one thing I'm going to say is I use these like Home Depot, HDX, uh, 17 gallon storage containers. Uh, previously, when I had them on this shelf here, I was only able to put uh, two wide because there wasn't enough room for a third. With this one here, I can put three wide and of course stack them five high. So that's really exciting. Um, another thing I want to point out um, with this particular shelving unit, which I got at my local hardware store, uh, I think about four years or so ago, is that it uses this uh, cheap kind of plywood material. And I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but this is actually bowed. It's actually warping over time. And a couple of these shelves, I've actually had to flip them upside down um, because they were starting to sag, uh, which was particularly problematic, especially when they're under load. Uh, another thing that uh, I want to point out uh, with these particular units is that uh, you've got uh, this part here exposed uh, where these latch into place. And with this particular unit, it's really clean. All of the latching is done on the inside here, not on the outside. Another thing that I'll immediately mention uh, is that this is a lot more sturdy uh, than these shelves here. All right, so I'm gonna continue working on getting everything organized here and we're gonna check in as soon as I'm done. So we are officially done with this organization project. I will say uh, organizing everything took a little bit longer than expected, but building that shelf was really, really easy and it's worked wonders on my garage. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So there you have it. We've got the shelf fully installed. We've got everything loaded up on it. And of course, there's still plenty of room uh, for me to use there. And of course, I've got my uh, electric bikes and scooters, my daughter's bike, all that fun stuff. And then, you know, the old shelving unit there uh, on the side. And then I was able to clear out a huge space here, which means now I'll have a lot more room to film some of my scooter and electric bike reviews. So I'm really excited about that. I don't feel so crowded in here. Now I probably will uh, replace these shelving units with this one because as I said before, uh, I can fit you know three of those storage units wide on each level, which is huge because this was only you know two wide, which you know left a, you know an unfortunate gap on either side, and so uh, not a great utilization of space with those particular storage units. Uh, so we'll see if we're gonna get this uh, switched out. So overall, I am really happy with this heavy-duty shelving unit from Raby. Uh, all I can say is I'll take the metal shelving over the plywood shelving all day every day uh, and it's worked wonders for my garage. Now if you're interested in this particular shelving unit I'll include a link to Raby's website below. I'll also pin it to the top of the comments. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. Have you done something similar with your garage? What do you think of this? Let me know and as always thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.